Jack, Don. Hello. Hey, congratulations Hi, on uh, being part of a uh, Lego Masters. You, you, you two uh, certainly uh, left with a bang. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> hey, so, uh, so uh, how how did it feel to be part of a uh, you know this uh, reality uh, competition uh, when when you got that call? Unbelievable, surrealistic. Uh, it was a bit hard to take in at first. I yeah, kept waiting it, it for the other shoe to drop. Um, just the fact that you were... Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, let, 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 let me uh, let me ask ask you to uh, this uh, how how long you two been playing with Legos and how much. How much time do you actually spend playing with Legos? That's that's the one most important thing that fans would love to know is because you you two live that dream like a lot of people want to be on that show. Who wants to do it? Don? Right. Go ahead, Don. Okay. Um we start I started building when I was a uh, young girl jack had lego so i just you always big brothers things you know <laughs> and <laughs> so i was building with his lego way back in the 60s and it was a, it was kind of a hit or miss depending on what was what else was going on and so it and then when my kids became old enough we supply them with legos and try to spur their creativity and i held on to those lego sets and bricks because it's like yeah these these are will have some kind of value, whether it's to resell or for grandchildren or for whatever, you know. And then just in the past year or so, I, I kind of dug those out and started building in earnest. And I build something every day. Even while I was on Lego Masters, I was mm -hmm. posting a daily Brick Limit Challenge build every day to Instagram. Um, some of those I had pre-built ahead of time before I left <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't know what bricks I'm going to have available. I took some with me, but I still don't know what I'm doing each each day. And so you know, I so I pre-built quite a few, but not every day. So I was still building in the hotel room and posting every day something, even if it was after midnight. But I would post something. So I do I do build every day. Um, and even since I've been back from from shooting the show, I. I probably have uh, built even more than before I left. So, <laughs> how about you, Jack? Uh, let's see. I, off and on, I've been playing with them. We figured roughly about fifty-seven years. Um, I got away from them once. I got. I, I started when I was about ten. I got away from them when I became a teenager. Um, then I had kids of my own and started playing with. Them my kids uh then they grew up then we started having grandkids and playing with the grandkids with them um obviously i don't play with them as much as i needed to um but at the same time um i probably have done more builds this year than I probably have in the last 50 years, to be quite honest. Um, and I didn't have a big collection when I started uh, the audition process for the show. And my grandson brought a whole bin of them over to me to practice with. Um, he, he said, here, you're going to need these. <laughs> and because I, I, had been out of touch for so long. But when we started, they didn't have all these little uh, sets and kits. You know, you, you bought a box uh, of two by eight, you bought a box, you know, of different pieces, but they didn't have all these instructions and, and engineered sets and specialty pieces. It's, it's been a whole different um, avenue. Absolutely. I, I want to talk, I want to mention that, uh, and then in the first episode, you two built a very beautiful butterfly. Um, Thank you. Float for that parade. Uh, um, if Kelsey 
saw that, what would you think she would say? I, I would I hope think she, she would she, love it. <laughs> I, I think so. Her her mom commented when that episode aired how how she knew Kelsey was watching and, and loved it. So that I want that. So I firmly believe that in my heart. Yeah. Ab absolutely. And um and what. One one of the things that uh, you know, a lot of Lego enthusiasts, we are we're all we're all builders. It's it's one thing to actually build, but in in the in the uh, that elimination episode, you had to build and you had to blow it up. What was that like? You know, exploding your own Legos into bits and pieces. It was a challenge to think outside the box. Because we've always tried to build for to not intentionally fall apart. I mean, <laughs> I, I've had a lot of them fall apart unintentionally, but um, so it was a, it was a little different animal, and evidently we built a little too strong. <laughs> right. So the strength challenges we we nail. So. <laughs> <laughs> That is true. Well, let, let me leave with one more thought for uh, for both both of you. Um, what what is the uh, it, the the joy of a uh, you know the joy and the fun of building Legos to you? What does it mean to you? To I me, think... it's an escape yeah. uh, from reality, from the daily daily grind, from all the negative stuff, and and I think. That, that the whole Lego community is like that. Um, yeah. they're, they're, they're a much kinder, I, I can't even put it into words. I really can't. <laughs> Don, you want to The AFOL community. Yeah, the AFOL community is, to quote somebody, I don't remember, a kinder, gentler community. <laughs> <laughs> for the most part. I mean, there's some people that, you know, are going to say, oh, well, yeah, you deserve to go home or whatever. And that's fine. They're allowed their opinion. Um, but in, in general, the, the whole AFOL community and the Lego community are, are awesome people and they inspire me to want to be even more creative. Mm -hmm. oh, so yeah. I think that's, you know, just the creativity and the outlet for, for that creativity is, is just, I love I love that, you know, because we, we both come, we come from a very creative family. Both of our parents had creative avenues that they, they used and, and our other siblings and they're all of the, the you know, our nieces and nephews and kids and, th and their kids and things like that. It just kind of goes on and on. It, it's self-perpetuating. You inspire creativity and that creativity then inspires you some more. Well, absolutely. Well, Jack and Don, hey, thank you uh, for carrying this conversation with me. Wish, wish, wish you guys were still on the show, but you know what? You're, you're still Lego masters to a lot of people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.